And now a potential breakthrough for a COVID-19 vaccine. Pfizer says its vaccine is more than 90% effective. The company has been using its Groton based facility for a lot of the research and development on that vaccine. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Aya Galal joins us live now from the digital desk. Now, even though this is promising news, Aya, there are still a lot of questions surrounding this vaccine. Nicole, that's right. And for example, how long the immunity will last, assuming the vaccine is in fact effective. Storage of the vaccine is also a concern, but Pfizer's announcement is welcome news as we enter a dangerous new phase of the pandemic. Help is on the way with a vaccine. It's more than 90% effective, which is extraordinary and will play a major role in what the outcome of this is going to be. Promising news in the battle against the coronavirus. Groton-based Pfizer says early data shows its experimental vaccine is more than 90% effective. The news comes as more than 237,000 in the U.S. have lost their life to COVID. The vaccine requires two doses. Priority would go to healthcare workers and those who are high risk. The U.S. military will help distribute the vaccine once it's ready. But where people can get the vaccine appears to be a big point of concern because the vaccine needs to be kept at ultra low temperatures. So you've got to have that capability. But we imagine at this point that local health departments and hospitals will be the primary, at least in phase one, vaccinators. And the U.S. government has paid Pfizer nearly $2 billion for 100 million doses. But if approved, most Americans won't have access until at least spring of next year. Pfizer will submit an emergency use authorization with the FDA once its trial is completed in two weeks. Live at the Digital Desk, Aya Galal, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.